Hi everyone, Drini here and welcome to my channel. So we're going to cover Alluvium today because unfortunately, the staking contract got hacked a few days ago. So let's dive into the charts to see what the impact is. Looking at Alluvium on a daily time frame, this is where we really see the massive impact of not only the hack, but also the Bitcoin dump right here. In many ways, it's kind of a blessing that the hack happened during market weakness. Because to be honest, you might as well get everything out of the way so that we can then move forward from here. Looking at it from a chart perspective, this is one of the challenges when you have a situation where the only thing that the token did during its subsequent beginning was just to rise up right here. Because when it breaks key support structure, so this support level right here of around $962 was really the only time where Illuvium started going sideways. So it was forming support structures around here. But during this run-up, that actually did not exist. But there are signs of a potential bottoming out structure around this area right here. One is if you look at the RSI we have actually gone to oversold levels. So this is actually the first time in Illuvium's history that we have gone oversold. From a stock RSI perspective, we are also treading down. These indicators are a sign that a bottom indicator may be potentially forming. Another thing to note is if we actually lay down the Fibonacci but in reverse where the candle that has the break in structure is the one and the local high right here is the zero. We have already hit the 1618 target of this particular reverse Fibonacci structure right here, where the impulsive wave because of this break in structure is this 1618. So moving forward, what are the potential scenarios for Illuvium? The problem with Illuvium is kind of hard to map out the scenarios from a structural perspective, meaning by looking at candles to the left, because once again, we never really formed any. It was just on an uptrend ever since. So we have to look for other indicators to sort of help us. One is, of course, the RSI levels and the stock RSI are pretty much at their bottom. So if you're looking to come into Illuvium, then this is pretty much a good DCA opportunity, especially because the markets are still weak. This 1618 price of around 778 actually needs to hold because if we break down from here, we will start to explore this chasm right here. Because from a Fibonacci standpoint, there's nothing in between the 1618 and the 2. But if we break down, we're not going to go down like this with one single wick. What's probably going to happen is we will start to range around this level right here, where these candles sort of provided a few days of structure, of sideways structure, which can act as support. So if we fall down, then expect that we would most likely test these price levels right here of around 714 and if we break down from here then we do have a two fibonacci target of around 625 another scenario that may happen for alluvium is we can actually just continue to range because if this 1618 target is the bottom structure and the market sort of picks back up from here or at least does a bit of a relief rally before another dump in the future then expect that Illuvium may play around with these ranges right here. So you have a range between this current price of around 778, 779, all the way to the 1.272 of this reverse Fibonacci of around 951. So if this sideways consolidation happens, then don't be surprised because what's happening here is if Illuvium goes sideways like this, it actually allows the EMAs to sort of catch up with it, something like this. So that once the market picks back up, probably around end of January, then we break the structure. It's easier to break the EMAs, backtest it as support before continuation to the upside. The only other concern I have though when it comes to Illuvium is, so they did stop staking and also they stopped minting and they stopped withdrawals as well. This is actually not advised to be honest because what happens here is you just build up pressure when the opportunity comes that you can actually withdraw. A potential scenario may be everybody would just grab what they can, cash it out as quickly as they can because right now we are at a prisoner's dilemma situation. Whoever rats out first or whoever sells first once the floodgates open sort of wins within the group. So that's one of the concerns about putting up barriers when it comes to trading. You don't want to build a pressure cooker because if it explodes, then if you're an Illuvium investor that has been buying up this run up, then don't be surprised if dumps happen in the future because of this. If you like that video, hit like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you want me to make a video about your favorite gaming crypto? Be a Patreon subscriber so you can request for it. Being a Patreon subscriber helps keep the channel sponsor, shill, and Moonboy free. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.